I cringe when I hear a child has chicken pox. My son Adam developed chicken pox at age seven. I laughed and I said, well, you'll be itching for a while. Well, little did I know. The symptoms of chicken pox are fever, feeling terrible, and then you break out with this rash. And that night, he started vomiting, and he just threw up all night. His stomach became distended, and then he began to bleed. The chickenpox lesions got inside of his colon, and E. coli entered into his bloodstream through those lesions and compromised his immune system and affected almost every organ in his body at that point. By the next morning, they came in and told me that his kidneys had failed. About 100 people a year die in the United States from chicken pox. He would end up with E. coli, kidney dialysis, pancreatitis, GI bleed, ileostomy, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, gastric paresis, loss of hearing, migraine headaches, compromised immune system, kidney transplant, tremor, and myeloid dysplasia. This has been going on now for 15 years. This is my medicine bag. I pretty much had one all my life. I've got 12 medicines I take a day. Uh, this is pain management for my arthritis. Although Adam's case is extreme, we've known that chicken pox can cause serious complications. This is to help with kidney rejection. Because it's essentially 250 to 500 wounds on the body. Each of those wounds makes it easy for bacteria to enter. This one is to help with itching from another medicine. It's very emotionally draining. They're telling you your son is not going to live through the night. I remember they did a feeding tube while I was awake. The medical procedures are just terribly difficult to, to have done on you and to watch as a mom. They took my mom out of the room because they didn't want her to see it. You run in the bathroom and you cry and then you come back out and you put the face on and, okay, Adam, we've got to get up and go do this today now. It's been a lonely journey for him. It's just physically hard now for him to do anything. This one is for depression. People need to understand chicken pox is not a benign illness. The people at risk are everybody who hasn't been vaccinated. Vaccine is essential. My son had all of his immunizations. In the United States, chickenpox vaccine has had a dramatic effect. There's been more than a 90% decrease in the number of hospitalizations and deaths from chickenpox. He could have had one shot that would have lasted 10 seconds and saved him a lifetime of agony. Check with your provider to see if immunization is right for your family.